This is yet another great dogfighting game, except this one has next generation planes. If you liked Warplanes World War I, then you are also going to like Warplanes Battles Over the Pacific. To be honest, it's very much like the first one, from menus to the upgrade systems to customising how your plane looks. Now of course there are some differences, the obvious being that the planes are all newer. And now we get rockets, more destruction. There's a choice of around 15 planes you can buy and to grow your collection with. Though you can only take five out with you on each mission, one lead plane and four support planes. Like before, you can switch between planes during combat. As usual, you get a choice of how to fly the planes. You can use sticks or you can grab hold of the controls inside of the plane though this might take some time to get used to. You can also choose if you want to manually take off or land your plane on missions, or you can skip the step with a simple press of a button. I actually always skip this step myself, but die-hard aviation fans will probably have more patience than me to learn these steps. As before, you get your primary missions, such as destroy two cruiser ships and three destroyer ships, and then you have your secondary objective, like destroy all the enemies, which might be a total of 19 enemies. You don't have to do the secondary missions, but you will earn more funds if you do, so you can then upgrade your plane's speed, climbing abilities, turning, armour, machine guns, ammo and crew intelligence a lot faster. Weapons you get are dependent on which planes you use, but most will be equipped with either machine guns, cannons, rockets, bombs and torpedoes. You can change your loadouts to suit your mission's needs. Some planes will be small but have great agility for dogfights. Other planes might be built to be stronger and carry a lot more bombs, or some might be built for speed to chase down those enemy bombers. Enemies are the same as the first game. It works perfectly for this game, so I guess it's hard to know how to build on that, but I do wish they had introduced some sort of new enemies or vehicles. Flying the planes is just awesome. The mechanics are so well done, and you will notice the improvements of the upgrades as you purchase them. The cockpits look fantastic, with all the buttons, dials and levers. It looks as confusing as a real plane would. The backdrops look amazing as expected, from land to sea and the clouds in the skies, and the night missions offer a different type of look. The sounds are great and work just perfectly to enhance the game. The clicks and the thumps from inside the plane, to the engines and propellers of your planes and other planes around you, the thunderous sounds of different guns and rockets, the air raid sirens wailing, Though there is one thing I do not like, and that's what I assume is your character talking out loud. He gets very repetitive and it becomes annoying. It's a shame there isn't a setting to be able to turn him off. Multiplayer options offer you to face off against other players from around the globe, or you can play with your friends in co-op missions. I really like Warplanes World War 1, but I absolutely love this next instalment battles over the Pacific. But it's going to come down to individual tastes at the end of the day. So on that, I score Warplanes Battles Over the Pacific a 41 out of 45. You can find my scoring system in the description section below. Now please show me support by hitting that like button. Do you have this game already? Then leave a comment with a pro and con to give others a point of view. Then come be part of this community and hit subscribe. Let's support one another in our gaming experiences. Thanks guys and happy gaming.